A. Forebrain. Forebrain is the largest part of the brain. The forebrain consists of cerebrum, thalamus, and hypothalamus. Cerebrum forms the major part of the human brain. A deep groove in the middle of the cerebrum divides into two equal halves. Each half is called as cerebral hemisphere, right and left. The right and left cerebral hemispheres are connected to each other by a bundle of axons called corpus callosum. The outer portion of cerebral hemisphere is grey in colour and is called cerebral cortex. The cerebral cortex contains motor areas, sensory areas and large regions that are neither clearly sensory nor motor in function. These regions, called as the association areas, are responsible for complex functions like intersensory associations, memory and communication. There are several ridges, elevations, called gyri and grooves called sulci on the surface of the brain. They increase the surface area of the cortex so that it can accommodate more number of neurons. Three deep grooves present across each cerebral hemisphere divided it into four lobes frontal, parietal, temporal and occipital lobes. Expression of emotional reactions example excitement, pleasure, rage and fear and motivation. B. Midbrain. Midbrain consists of groups of nerve cells and a large number of myelinated axons of the nerve cells present in other regions of the brain. Midbrain is located between the thalamus or hypothalamus of the forebrain and pons of the hindbrain. A canal called the cerebral aqueduct passes through midbrain. The dorsal portion of the midbrain consists of four round swellings, lobes, called corpora quadrigemina. Midbrain and hindbrain form the brain stem. Some of the nerve cells in this midbrain region control body muscles and their movements. C. Hindbrain. Hindbrain comprises pons, cerebellum and medulla oblongata. Pons consists of fiber tracts that interconnect different regions of the brain. Cerebellum. It lies behind the cerebrum and has grey matter on the surface and white matter in the deeper layers. Cerebellum controls all the voluntary movements of the body. It is also responsible for the maintenance of equilibrium and posture of the body. It has very convoluted surface in order to provide the additional space for many more neurons.